All right guys, welcome to my very first tutorial. My name is David Rodriguez, and today we're gonna show you how to get that cinematic look. So one of the very first things that I actually do is I make sure my timeline is a 24 frames per second timeline. So in order to do this, we go to File, New, Sequence, and then we'll go to DSLR 1080p 24. So now that we have that, we actually can go into our clips and we'll just select, let's just select this little ghosty guy and uh, maybe we can select Chris Evans. Let's see how that looks. Uh, let me get rid of this audio just because I don't need it. All right, so now we got Ghosty and Chris Evans. Um, we can actually do some color correction on him and color grading on this just because this footage actually looks pretty good. So when I actually go out and film, I try to film in 60 frames per second. And the reason why I do that is because I can slow this footage down um, in a 24 frame timeline so it can be real smooth. And, and so we can go to right click and we'll go to speed and duration, 40% and just push OK and there you go look at that and I think slow motion actually does pretty well with cinematic looks um, I mean normal footage at 100% speed is great too but I just feel like slow motion just looks great okay so now that we have those two clips ready to go let's go into our color grading and we can go into our window and we'll go into color Okay, so now that we're in our color editing process, we get Lumetri Color, which is awesome. Best thing ever, and I'm really glad Premiere got it for us. So we got our things like Basic Correction, Creative, Curves, Color Wheel, and Vignette. Now to add our LUT or our look that I actually use in my last video, we go here to Creative, and we can come here to Look, toggle it down, and we used, or actually I used, this Kodak 5205 Fuji 3510 by Adobe. So we can stop there if we wanted to, but I'm gonna go a little step further than that. We can change our intensity to either high or low. I kind of like it, man, let's see, maybe, uh, let's just try 40%, okay. And let's kill, let's bump up our blacks just a bit. Maybe desaturate it just to, uh, we can add our saturation. Let's do 1115 and bump up our white balance. All right, so it actually looks pretty good. Let me toggle back and forth. So basically, I think of LUTs as a starting point and then you kind of build upon, upon that. And this is just a really fast color grade, but that's basically what I did in my last video. Um, now I have this other clip over here and let's just apply it, just to show you guys that you can't just apply it one, one clip here and then apply it to the other. So we'll go here and see, and it turns him yellow. So we'll come back here, turn the white balance all, white balance all the way down and maybe add some magenta just a tiny bit maybe we can uh, desaturate this just a little bit and that looks pretty good oh look there's two let's actually apply it to it okay and maybe we can add some contrast to that and color grading in my thinking is it's all subjective you know it's basically what you want it to look and how you want it to look uh, you know there isn't a right or wrong so just kind of just play with it and that's what I usually do okay so one of the things that I use is faded film and it's, it's actually really it's pretty popular these days um, it gives it that nice like not grainy look but it just like I don't know it just feels like a textured layer is what it looks like to me um, and let me show you what it looks like before and then after, before and after. Okay, so now that we got that, and one, one more last step. Oh, actually, you know what? Before we do that, I want to add faded film to the, my ghost. 10, perfect. And 
then he's talking about his ghost. It's like, my ghost is scaring me. Whatever. Anyways. Okay, so last step that I actually do is I add letterboxes. Yes, letterboxes. I think that gives it that effect of that film look. And so as you can see, go boom, boom. We can actually move him down. The nice thing about letterboxing is if you do that, you can f frame it again, like it, and it's just you can't go left or right, but you can go up and down. Oh, like there's crotch. Okay, but you can go here, boom, frame it down, and our ghosty guy, frame this guy down a little bit. See, it looks really good, doesn't it? Um, like I said, this that's basically what I do, my color grading process. Um, it's not too bad. It works for me, and if other color graders out there that are, disagree, then that's you know that's fine. But this is the way I do it, and it and people like it like it. And one thing for the letterboxing to find that you can actually Google that um, and just type in 1080p letterboxing, and you can go to images and you can actually find some of that. Just make sure you write in PNG. I'll post a link down below so you guys can just click there and then you know just download a, one of the pictures off of there there's my tutorial it was really short really kind of fast if you guys have any questions feel free to write it down in the comments and i will message you back as soon as possible um, if you guys want anything else shown i mean i do a whole bunch of things i have i don't know i do aerial videography as you can see let's see if it even plays it's on 4k if he, yeah, if he does play it back. All right, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace.